Okay, by now, most of you have probably seen the Dylan Dennis versus Logan Paul fight. And by extension, the KSI and Tommy Fury fight. Normally on this channel, obviously, we talk about self-development. We talk about improvement. And I watched the fights last night. If you haven't seen them and you're waiting to watch them for whatever reason, you know, spoiler alert, I'm going to talk about the result of, of the fights. Um, Dylan Dennis is a really, really good example of why unbridled ego when you don't necessarily have what it takes to follow through with that ego is so dangerous. Dylan was, in my opinion, doing a very, very high level. And in if you want to go deep with it, quite a respectable level of psychological warfare. I'm not saying the kind of shit that he was giving Logan was good or moral, but in the context of you know, war, what he was doing to Logan in the run up to the fight was if you if you were thinking about how can I psychologically manipulate and psychologically torture my opponent, that's a pretty effective way of doing it. Because, you know, your your girl is a soft spot and a sore spot for, you know, for most guys. Um, you know, most guys are probably okay with shit being said about them, but you know, you don't really want to say shit about about you know your girl. And you know, that is what it is. However, when you play that kind of game, you really have to back it up. And I know that all fighting, like all UFC or boxing, whatever, it's all, you know, there's trash talk and it's like, well, I'm, you know, come this day, I'm going to destroy this guy. I'm going to ruin his life. And obviously it very rarely ever actually happens. But there has to be at least a baseline of like the, the the baseline is first of all the baseline is you have to win the fight that's the bare minimum ideally you want to knock the guy out ideally dylan would have knocked logan out based on how much trash talking he was doing and i know that logan was trash talking too but i'm saying because what dylan did was so extra like you know putting up pictures of his of his wife like every day and I think he's, someone said he's like, he put out a video and he's getting sued and a fake video or something like that. I don't know. But all I know is that I, I was kind of dipping in and out of it, but I know that he was putting up pictures of like Logan's wife, like every day or whatever. And I was like, damn, that's dark as shit. Um, but like, again, in terms of war, fair play to him. That's a pretty dark, you know, uh, strategy. But again, if you're going to play that, that, that game, you have to win, dude. Bare minimum, you have to win. And ideally, you really have to knock the guy out. You have to be like, look, I talked all this shit. And then when we got in the ring, I fucking destroyed you, you know? Um, the problem is, what Dylan Dennis did is he just sort of danced around the ring, like, with his hands over his face. He just, he maintained, like, a perma guard the whole time. I remember at one point the announcer said, this was in, like, the fifth round, and he said, by the end of the fourth round... Uh, Logan had thrown, I think it was like 82 punches or something. And Dylan had thrown nine. Like, and then, and then, oh, the BJJ stuff and trying to like get Logan. Oh my God, dude, what are you doing? And the problem is, is that because the commensurate, this is what I keep saying, the commensurate amount of shit talk is here. Therefore, the commensurate SmackDown has to also be here. You can't talk this much shit and then, you know, do an, a performance that's that embarrassing. I remember all, I was with all my friends and we were all watching it going, dude, what the hell is happening here? I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. In my entire life. I don't know what that was. And like going, going to the ground and doing all this stuff and, and then afterwards trying to get him in a takedown and then not even getting him in a takedown. You're meant to be an MMA fighter and you couldn't take down a YouTuber with a takedown, even when you're breaking the rules, doing it illegally, it's a bad look. Anyway, the lesson in this, guys, is that if you are going to be the kind of person that talks that level of shit, and it, obviously this is in the context of, of fighting, take that context out of it, you can apply it to life, you know, if you're going to be the guy that's like, hey, I'm this fucking guy, I'll be cocky and I'll, you know, be a bit arrogant, have the swagger, whatever, generally err on the side of not doing that. But if you are going to be that guy, you better back it up. Because the only thing worse than a guy who's like a cocky, annoying asshole 
is a cocky, annoying asshole who then can't even back up anything he's saying. Then you're just like bottom of the ladder, just bottom rung. So I I'm still processing what I just watched. I'll probably talk about the whole set of events in another video or maybe on stream. I was thinking of doing like a review breakdown kind of thing on stream because I, I don't know what I watched. Do you guys know what you watched? If you watched it, do you know what you watched? Can you write in the comments if you know? I don't know what I watched. He 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 wasn't throwing any punches at all. He was just taking he was just tanking body shots. I don't even know. This is meant to be like there's a lesson in this and that is the lesson but Dude, what was Dylan doing? Anyway, yeah, this is a break from my normal content, but I just, I couldn't not talk about it because what the, what was that? Anyway, keep swimming. I'll see you in the next one.